Raúl. Okay, good. You, you yes, you can start okay. uh, you can start sharing, okay? Fantastic. Okay, I start recording. Good. Please. Okay. I'll start my presentation. Uh, I'm Ri Honda, a uh, first year master's student from Keio University. Uh, I will talk about uh, structure optimization method of trust by Quantum Annulink. First, I explain the topology optimization problem. Now, the topology optimization problem is to find a combination of components or shapes that will provide high performance at the lowest possible cost, as shown in this figure. Now, topology optimization is sometimes used in bridge design, as shown in this image. Now, when trying to solve a combinational optimization problem, such as topology optimization problem using the methods that are widely used today. Uh, it, it is possible to get stuck in a local solution during the computation. Uh, therefore, the uh, computation must be repeated many times to obtain the overall opti optimal solution, which results in high computational cost. Uh, so, uh, new computational methods that do not fall into the trap or local solutions are becoming increasingly important. Uh, next, I will explain quantum annual link. Uh, in recent years, the uh, practical application of quantum computers, which are computers using qubits as basic elements, has been attracting attention. Quantum computers are divided into two types, quantum gating and quantum annealing. Uh, among these, uh, quantum, annealing, quantum annealing is specializing in solving uh, combinational optimization problems. Uh, and recently, D-Wave has developed uh, a machine that can handle more than 5,000 5, qubits. Quantum annealing uses the tunneling effect of quantum fluctuation to find the solution. Uh, this figure shows an uh, image of quantum annealing. Uh, initially, by increasing the quantum fluctuation, the state can be uh, transitioned while ignoring the potential value due to the tunneling effect. And by gradually decreasing the quantum fluctuation from that state, uh, we can finally reach the optimal solution with the minimal potential. Uh, example of previous research applying quantum annealing to computational optimization problems includes traffic volume management and now scheduling. Uh, these studies have shown that the computation speed is about uh, 100 million times faster than with computational methods. Uh, however, there are a few cases where quantum annealing has been used to analyze solids. The purpose of this research is to develop, develop a new topology optimization method for solids using quantum annealing. Uh, as an example, uh, we will use quantum annealing to solve a topology optimization problem for trans structure, uh, such as the one shown that in this figure which is to find structure that has high strength with limited total volume of members when a certain force is applied. And the following section describes the actual use of quantum annealing. Uh, to use quantum annealing machine, a com com <coughs> combinational optimization problems must be converted to an async model or cubo. Uh, the energy function of the optimization problem, problem is expressed in the form of Hamiltonian, and quantum annealing is used to find the combination of variables that minimizes the Hamiltonian. Uh, first, the Ezing model is represented by some of the products of two Ezing model variables that takes one or minus one. The G alpha beta sigma alpha sigma beta represents the energy of uh, interaction B 
between the two ising variables. For instance, the positive, uh, positive or negative of these two ising variables are the same or different. It determines, uh, for instance, uh, the energy of the interaction is positive or negative, and Hamiltonian increases or decreases. The cube form uses a uh, binary variables that takes the value uh, 0 or 1 instead of the async variable. And the equation for the async model and the cube equation are essentially equivalent by simply transforming the async variable sigma and the uh, binary variable q uh, into, va into variables uh, such that sigma equal 1 minus 2q. In this study, and their energy is expressed using a cube ball. And an annealing analysis is performed. Uh, as mentioned earlier, the only variables that can be handled in cube format are binary variables that can only take values of 0 or 1. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the variables used in structure analysis of atlas such as nodal displacement and member cross section, are uh, real numbers that can take values other than 0 or 1. And therefore, in order to use quantum annealing for structure ana analysis of trusses, it is necessary to re represent real number using binary variables. And therefore, I use the method called random sum representation of a of real number. Multiple random number between zero and one are prepared, and hence a real number are represented by the sum of these random numbers. And by expressing whether a random number exists or not using binary variables, a uh, real number are in the in the range minus a to a can be expressed using a binary variables as in this equation. Uh, next, uh, we convert the energy, the energy of the torus into cube form. Uh, first, the elastic energy of the member between nodes I and J of, of the torus, as shown in this figure, it can be approximated by this equation, given that the deformation is made. And the difference between the potential energy of nodes I before and after deformation. It's the product of the bidirectional load and the bidirectional displacement, as in this equation. We will convert these equations to cube format. Yeah. A trust structure is in, in balance when the sum of elastic and potential energies is at a minimum. And to confirm and to confirm and that the uh, trusses can be analyzed using quantum annealing. Uh, we perform the quantum annealing analysis using the elastic energy converted to cube format as the Hamiltonian of the, of the objective function. And this figure shows the results of the analysis of the compression of the truss. And the blue line shows the shape before deformation, and, and the red line shows the shape after deformation. Uh, the results shows compression and confirming that it is indeed possible to analyze truss deformation using quantum annealing. And next, a formulation is given that takes the cross sectional area as the variables uh, to optimize the structure. And the spring constant is expressed in terms of the cross sectional area of the member. Uh, as Young's mod modulus uh, times cross sectional area divided by uh, divided by natural length. Using this equation, uh, the elastic energy can be written as this equation. And then by expressing the cross sectional area uh, as binary variables as in the equation, is in this equation. Uh, optimization calculation by quantum annealing with the cross-sectional area uh, as, as a variable becomes possible. Uh, 
Under the condition that the torus structure is force balanced, uh, the stiffness structure is the one in which the sum of elastic energy of all members is the greatest. Uh, however, elastic energy minimization for balancing and elastic energy maximization for stiffness, stiffness maximization are simply inverse of each other's object function. Thus, thus in principle, uh, they cannot be performed simulation systemically in a single calculation. Therefore, in the study, uh, the replacement and cross-sectional area calculation were performed separately for optimization. Uh, first, uh, the cross-sectional area is assumed to be a constant, and the displacement is used as a variable. And find a balanced position. The Hamiltonian used in this case is the sum of the elastic and potential energies as the previous example. And next, with the displacement value of the fixed and the cross-sectional area as a variable, and we look for the structure with the maximum sum of L thick energies. Uh, the, uh, the Hamiltonian uses in this case is the sum of the L thick energy multiplied by minus one. Uh, these calculations are repeated to optimize the structure. And then constraint functions are added to the cross sectional area change. And first, uh, if the cross sectional area is simply changed, so that the elastic energy increases, uh, the cross-sectional cross area of all the members become, becomes maximum. To avoid this, a constant a constraint function is added to ensure that the sum of the cross-sectional area of all members is always constant. Uh, added constant function to the Hamiltonian that places a limit on the amount of increases, increase or decrease in cross-sectional area per member per calculation. And note that in this analysis, the variables is not the cross-sectional area value itself, but the increase or decrease value of the cross-sectional area. And ordinarily, <coughs> replacement and the cross-sectional area values affect each other. But in this analysis, only one of the two values is changed, changed repeatedly. And therefore, if the values of displacement and cross-sectional area are changed all at once, uh, the structure will derive from the option, optimal solution each time the calculation is repeated, resulting in the appearance of such an uh, incorrect structure. And therefore, by restricting the range of the cross-sectional area that can be take, taken as a variable so that the cross-sectional area changes little by little. Uh, the calculation can be repeated mm. with some preservation of the relationship between the displacement Dr. and the cross-sectional area. We should uh, move towards the conclusion, please. Uh, The initial thrust structure and the analysis results after thirty step are shown. It can be seen that that the upper side of the thrust structure is on tension and the lower side is in compression, as in the beam bending. The cross sectional area at each step is also shown. The cross sectional area at each step is shown to increase for members with high strain and to decrease for members with low strain. Uh, optimization calculation using quantum maneuvering uh, reveals a uh, structure that table at the tip of the road node upright, as seen in conventional optimization methods. Uh, and also optimization analysis using quantum maneuvering was performed for these loaded 3D trusses. Uh, the 3D truss also showed that a structure that taper at the load end. And conclusions. In this study, uh, we propose a method to perform deformation analysis and topology optimization analysis of truss structure using quantum maneuvering. Uh, the result of the validation of the proposed method shows that these things.
Now that's bringing me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> Few quick questions, maybe. No, from the online participants. No. Okay. So let's thank uh, Dr. Hong again, and uh, we move to the um, another online presentation by Dr. Imoto, quantum annealing with twisted fields. Second. Okay, Dr. Imoto, if you're there, okay, you can start screen sharing.